This photograph of Manchester on New Year's Eve went viral. Memes were created in its honour, and it was even refashioned in the style of famous painters. Like Edward Hopper and Picasso. The images were created by a bot with its own Twitter account. The idea is to, to make an image reply bot, so you send it an image and then the bot processes it, takes it through a neural network, creates a, an image in the style of a famous artist and then sends you the result back. So you can see exactly what you would look like if Picasso had painted you. Well, not exactly, but pretty close. <laughs> 35-year-old Alex Champandar programmed the Deep Forger bot and connected it to a Twitter account. The bot analyzes photographs and generates a painting to match them. The result? A Van Gogh-style sunset. A mountain scene tribute to Salvador Dali. And a snap of the kids a la Gustav Klimt. The bot creates the images from a database of 2,500 works. The original paintings are sourced from museums' online galleries. No, art is not my background, but I've been uh, very interested in the machine learning community for the past uh, year. And in August, there was a paper published uh, about style transfer with neural networks. And I thought that was a very good idea, and I thought, let's build that into a bot. Neural networks mirror the pathways of the human brain. One of their applications is in voice recognition technology. The most exciting feature of neural networks is that they can learn. Developers at a Swiss university use neural networking to develop an app they claim can judge a person's attractiveness and age. Some two million users gave it a go on the day it launched. It's based on evaluations users posted on dating sites. Neural networks learn by making comparisons. And statistically, we can look at the tweets that have the best results of people favoriting, people retweeting and sharing with their friends. And then we can say these paintings work better than others. So we can use these kinds of uh, very simple learning techniques based on statistics to pick paintings that, uh, that fit well. The intention isn't to make a profit. Low-res pictures are free. High-res images cost around eight euros. That helps cover the cost of renting a server. Deep Forger has already morphed thousands of photographs into works of art. The more it works, the more it learns. Not all paintings work equally well. Take this one by Egon Schiele, for instance. This is one of the paintings that we have in our database. It's actually one of the more difficult paintings to transfer the style because it has such distinct shapes for the heads and for the bodies. And the algorithm is very good at transferring strokes for uh, the brush strokes and the texture of the painting. But when it comes to like, things that we look at as a human, like the head or the body, it's hard for the, those patterns to be copied over. Deep Forger is becoming ever more sophisticated. Alex Champanda programmed the bot to respond to users' own descriptions and style preferences. The end result is always a whole new masterpiece. Shift says Nifty Networks.